positions in Isiola County and are lobbying for inclusion. Our reporter George Maringa is following up on this forum and now joins us live from Isiola. George, good afternoon. What's the latest on the ground? To you, indeed, it is a meeting that is a six to reconcile and unite the people of Meru living in Isiolo County. Remember, Isiolo is a cosmopolitan county which hosts a number of uh, communities, among them the Meru, uh, who are here this afternoon for a meeting that is ongoing currently, as you can see behind me. You know, members of the Meru community who live in Isiolo or, you know, continue streaming in from various parts of this county. We are also told that the political class is also uh, making their way here and they will be here shortly and they will be discussing yeah, matters to do with inclusivity and democracy and vying for elective positions, notably so because this area is mostly um, uh, manifested or mostly uh, inhabited by the uh, pastoralist communities and so the American community say they also want to be included in such positions and now I'll engage one of them uh, who convened this meeting to just give us a deeper perspective of what this meeting means and thank you very much for joining us on KT News. Start by telling us your name and why this meeting has been set up. Thank you so much. Jinda Langu Inaitwa David Kemadi Mongo. Mimi ni mkaji wa county ya Isiro na mimi ni mtu ambaye nimekaa hapa zaidi ya miaka 28 sasa. Uh, sababu kuu ya kuweza kukutana siku ya leo uh, tulionelea ni vizuri jamii ya Wameru ambao wanaoishi katika muji wa Isiro tukaweza nyote zote tukaweza kukutana hapa siku ya leo kwa sababu ya mambo mawili. Jambo la kwanza it is about reconciliation na jambo la pili it is about the unity of our people sababu ya kuwa ya kuzungumzia mambo ya reconciliation and uh, unity ni kwa sababu tumeweza kuangalia na tukaona ya kwamba katika nyakati ambazo zimepita eh, nyadhifa nyingi za kisiasa simeweza kutuondokea na sababu kuu ya kuondoka ni kwa sababu tulikuwa hatuna umoja na sasa baada ya kugundua shida yetu tukaona ni vizuri tukaweza kuja pamoja kama jamii na kikundi ambacho ninachokiongoza ambacho tunakaa pamoja nao tukaonea ni vizuri tukaweze kuwaita wanasiasa wanabiashara makasisi na wakaji wote wa Isiro ndio tukaweze kuzungumza kwa sauti moja tukaweze kujua exactly when the line started beating us na ni sababu gani hayo yaliyoweza kutokea Kwa hivyo siku ya leo hiyo ndio sababu kuu na ninashukuru Mungu ni kwa sababu mkutano umeanza vizuri naona watu wamehudhuria kwa wingi na tunataraji bandu wanaendelea kukuja na e, kitambo ifike njioni niko na hakika tutakuwa tumeafikia mambo kadha wa kadha ambayo yatakuwa ni kwa, e, kwa manufaa ya jamii ya watu wetu wa Meru ambao wanaoishi Siro na hata jamii zingine ambazo siko sehemu ya Meru ambao wanakaribia ama wako karibu na Isiro. Lakini wengi watasema kwamba mna kaunti yenu ama ambapo mali ambapo mmetoka kama jamii ya Wameru ingawaje kama umeishi hapa kwa zaidi ya miaka 28. Mbona mkaamua hivi sasa ndipo mnaweza kupigania vile viti vya kisiasa na kuongoza jamii ama kuongoza katika kaunti ya Isiro? Uh, you find that uh, katika muji wa Isiro this is a cosmopolitan town. Na hii ni mahali ambapo tuko na jamii karibu tano ambazo ni zile kubwa na the other minorities that is tuko na Wasamburu, tuko na Waturukana, tuko na Waborona, tuko na Wasamburu, tuko na Wameru na pia we have the, the others minority groups kama Wakisi, Wakikuyu na hata e, Wabaruya lakini tulipoangalia tukona ya kwamba e, katika election iliyopita na hata ile election nyingine ya, ya 2013 Sisi atu kuweza kupata nafasi yote katika uongozi na sababu kuu ya kukosa hizo nafasi ni kwa sababu ya disunity ya watu wetu ni kwa sababu tumekuwa na watu viongozi ambao wamekuwa awashuriki mambo ya jamii mbali wamekuwa kishugulikia alizao wenyewe. Ndiyo sasa tukona ni vizuri, tukaweza kuleta njamii zetu pamoja. Ndiyo sasa katika serikali ambayo itakayoweza kuungwa mwaka wa 2022, tukaweza kuona kana kwamba tukizungumza saizi, tutakuwa na nafasi ya uongozi kama jamii zingine ambazo seko katika muji wa isiro. Yes. Um, asante sana. Michelle, uh, that has been uh, Kimathi, one of the conveners of this meeting uh, that seeks to unite and reconcile the American community living in Isiola County as they also seek to adopt or to uh, 
you know, seek for elective positions and to also lead as other communities have done in this cosmopolitan county of Isiolo. For now, I'll hand back to you in studio. George Maringa, live from Isiolo County. Thank you. And that report brings us to a close on News Desk this afternoon. Many thanks for watching. My name is Michelle Ngele Hodiamba. For more information, do log on to our website, www.ktnnews.com. Good afternoon.